tuxedo slippers. And break. Excuse me. I'm supposed to meet you here? Huh? Are you Wesley? I'm Carol. I'm sorry, what's happening now? Uh, I'm supposed to meet a Wesley about my insurance claim. Wesley doesn't work here anymore. Are you serious? I mean, I made the appointment like a month ago. I rearranged my whole Saturday. Are you a doorman? Yeah, I'm a doorman. To the sky. I'm a pilot. Oh, OK. Well, look, it's a pretty standard workman's comp claim. I'm sure you could handle it. I was flying the 7 AM from Tampa to Louisville, and we had a two-hour weather delay, so naturally, all the passengers got drunk. Generally speaking, if there's a delay of more than 20 minutes, I might as well be driving a party bus. It's just idiocy. I don't know what's going on in this country. I know. People wear flip-flops to church. And the NBA tattoo situation is out of control. Thank you. Anyway, we're about a half hour into the flight. I hear this commotion behind me in the cabin, so I exit the cockpit. I go down the aisle, and to my left, I see... <gasps> a terrorist? No, I wish. No, it's a drunk lady. She's pulled her pants off, and she's ranting. She's complaining about the in-flight entertainment. So things got a little heated, and uh, I had to implement Sky Law. What's... Sky Law. It's when I put on the fasten seatbelt sign and no one's allowed to move till we've had 10 minutes of silence. <laughs> I made the whole thing up, but you know, people are stupid, so they don't question it. That is awesome. So what is the workman's comp part of this? Eventually, I flipped the drunk lady off. She bit my finger. <laughs> I know, I was totally unprofessional, but she was bagging pretty hard on my TGS. What? TGS, it's this late night show on NBC. We run it in flight when we're Northwest bound. Basically the greatest thing ever on television. I don't stand for anybody besmirching it on my aircraft. Do you believe in fate? Wait, are you kidding me? You write for TGS with Tracy Jordan? I'm the head writer. I'm not an insurance claims adjuster. I'm just here because my cousin. Well, I mean, it's my favorite show ever. There's the one fart doctor sketch where his fart doctor's trying to figure out who farted in the spelling bee and he's like hey who spelt it dealt it i wrote that i write all the fart doctors i can't believe this would you like to go to a rich girl's wedding with me i don't know does that sound like more fun than me eating alone at the laguardia chilies you want to watch tv first thing i need is tequila stop wait no the barefoot contessa i love this show me too this is one of the three things in the world I like. Ina Garten, Sweater Weather, and when, when Muppets presented award shows? Well, yes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we really see eye to eye on a lot of stuff, don't we? Absolutely. I've never met anyone before who had the exact same idea as me about what to do with Palestine. It would work, right? Of course it would work. And don't you agree that our situation is perfect right now? <laughs> we have these great visits together, but then we still have our separate lives. We're like Jeffrey and Ina. <laughs> No, no, I can't, I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> I'm not like Jeffrey Gordon. I'm not as strong as that guy. Don't have too much fun without me, okay? I need to know where this relationship is going, and I can feel you resisting it. <laughs> no, no, it okay? Don't be cry. Uh, I'm, I'm a pilot. Liz, you know, I spent my entire adult life just casual girlfriends in different cities, and I, I, I can't go from woman to woman to woman anymore. How many women have you been with? No, no, I'm not, I'd, I'd rather not say. It's shameful. I mean, I'm a pilot. <laughs> Six. Oh, that's not so great. I want grown-up love. <laughs> <laughs> Folks from the flight deck, it looks like it's gonna be about another half hour and then we'll be on our way. Uh I have an announcement. Our pilot has gone insane. No, don't listen to her. Don't Having seen Crimson Tide on Showtime last weekend, I believe the only course of action available to us is passenger mutiny. I am Denzel. I am invoking Skylaw. You are now silenced, shrieking harpy. Stop shrieking! We could have gone back to a gate and he wouldn't take us! Do not blame me. I wouldn't take us because she wouldn't admit to being wrong for challenging my authority. Why not? What's wrong with you? I am right, and he knows it. He could have given us food. Maybe this is one of those times when both of you just say on the count of three, I was wrong. One, one two, two, three, three never. never. How are you two dating? You're too similar. Where are you going? I am pulling the emergency exit slide, and we are all getting off of this plane. I'll be a folk hero like that guy everybody hates now. Don't you even think about it. That is a federal offense. Just try to stop me. Oh, you be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I will win.
erased you! You'll have to go through this old bastard first! <laughs> Soren Eglantine, your journey is at an end. I hope we can still be friends. Carol, I knew you wouldn't forget about me today. No non-essential chatter, Liz. I'm having the worst flight of my career. We got wind shear, lightning, severe turbulence. The in-flight meal was a frittata. Oh my God, at night? Lizzie, if something were to happen, I, I just, I want you to know that I, I need you to go to Raleigh to my apartment and just clear out all the porn before my mom gets there. That's it? Yeah, I, I also need you to TiVo bones for me in case I survive. No, you know what, Carol? Today is a very special day, and you should have known that, and you should also know that you can't use cell phones on planes. No, oh, that's just something we tell passengers. Hey. Oh, hello, hold on. All right, yeah, I, th I think I just screwed up something with my girlfriend. You know, I've always loved you. <laughs> Not now, Kevin. Copy that. 